Welcome to Civic. I'm guessing you clicked on this video to learn about our products and how they can help you on your scientific journey. Well, let me tell you something. We want to help you find the right tools to ensure your research is precise and accurate. Because you know what I say, exceptional minds require exceptional tools. So hit the subscribe button, follow us on our social media, here, here, and here. So now, let's talk science. Before that, we can integrate ECG in real time with the collection of our Doppler signals. This is important to tell us whether the signal is happening in systole or diastole and where um, on the QRS complex is it happening. So we do that through the rodent surgical monitor here. Um, so we have four sets of electrodes, um, four for the mouse and four for the rat or um, other small animal models work as well. Um, and the way that we normally do it is we take our animal model and we just have to tape them down to these electrodes. So it's completely non-invasive, similarly to the BFPS. Um, and all you need is a little bit of ECG cream and you just tape all their paws down on here. This will keep maintain their body temperature, record it on this nice little tablet here, along with a bunch of other signals, including G leads one, two, and three, whatever you're interested in. Uh, respiration rate, heart rate, um, and again, you can monitor core and body temperature. And this is important for not just to incorporate in the TFPS, but making sure your animal is doing well during the procedure. Um, so once they're taped down to the uh, platform and you would have your anesthesia, um, nose cone if you're using uh, gas anesthesia, we would take our Doppler probe. All of our settings are done on this transceiver here, and we adjust according to the depth that we need the sound to travel. So that's dependent on the size of the animal and which uh, vessel of interest we're targeting. So, for example, the mitral valve, which we talked about earlier, we would place our probe just right underneath the ribcage and angle towards where the mitral valve would be in the animal. And again, adjusting our depth on the transceiver here in order to achieve the optimal um, signal. So this can be used on its own, um, but it's also, like I said, used with the, the FBS in order to, it's also used with the DFBS in order to incorporate the ECG signals in real time. And is this something that's included with the Doppler system or is this like an add-on feature that people can purchase? Yeah, so we encourage anyone who is doing, um, who it wants to use the DFPS to also have the rotor surgical monitor, um, specifically for the signals that does require having the ECG there. There are some signals in some cases where the RSM, the rotor surgical monitor, does not need to be purchased. For example, larger animals, when we, we would use a cuff probe, um, of course, they won't fit on this platform, so you wouldn't have this platform. Um, another example is uh, with pulse wave velocity, we're mostly interested in the transit time it takes from probe one and probe two. Um, that in that case as well, ECG is not as important as say mitral valve or aortic outflow, which are cardiac signals. And then you mentioned this could also be used on its own. Why would someone want to do that? I guess what other purposes it have? Yeah, so. This is a great uh, tool for anyone doing any kind of procedure where the animal might need to be anesthetized, um, whether it's invasive or non-invasive surgery, uh, anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, it monitors all of the vital signs and then keeps the animal warm, um, keeping it at physiological temperature to ma maintain that in order to keep the animal safe and help with recovery and post-surgical uh, care as well. 